Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can add new objects, make copy of those objects, or duplicate the objects and few other things. So, let's get started. So, in the previous video, I have already discussed about different type of objects that we can add. So, while working, you might want to add different objects, maybe copy those objects or duplicate objects. Two, three concepts are there. I'll just give an overview on this. Apart from that, there is another thing called as a 3D cursor, which is going to be quite useful later on when we are working. So I'll discuss about that also. So how do we add a new object? So to add a new object, you can either go to add mesh curve or whatever is there. As I mentioned during this sessions, we'll be primarily working with these mesh objects. So I'll be talking about it right now. So let us say, we have this particular cube fine and I want to add another object over here so either I can delete this cube right now and here what I will do is I'll use a shortcut rather than going so you can use a shortcut shift a so add pop-up menu comes just below your cursor so here I can add any kind of object that is there so let's add monkey fine this is how I can add a monkey so why does the monkey gets added over here? This is where the interesting concept of our 3D cursor comes in. What is the 3D cursor? This thing that you see over here is 3D cursor and you can invoke it from this menu by selecting 3D cursor. Now, wherever you click, the 3D cursor comes over here. So it is kind of a uh, utility or tool with which you can point somewhere in the 3D area. Fine. So now see what if I add an object right now, cube. So the cube gets added where the 3D cursor is. Fine. So you could just point the 3D cursor somewhere. Shift add mesh. Let us say UV sphere. So here the sphere gets added in this particular location. Later on when we discuss about different kind of views, front side, top views and all or once you know about them you can precisely place that. Let us say I go to the front view. I click the cursor over here. And now if I add a mesh, say icosphere, it gets added over here, fine. Now, so this is the use of 3D cursor. There are many other uses, like I can place my 3D cursor over here uh, somewhere, fine. And I could like say this object which is selected, I could tell it to snap to 3D cursor. So I can move some objects here and there other things. 3D cursor is also used as a pivot point which I will be discussing later on. So 3D cursor has quite some uses. Now in general we prefer to put our objects in the center. So let me first delete these objects over here except for the light. Fine. If you press shift C from your keyboard the 3D cursor will be at the center of origin. So whenever you are planning to add new objects, it's always preferable to add it at the center because from there calculating distances are easier. Not a rule, but a preference. So here let us add a mesh monkey. So those are few uses of the 3D cursor. Fine. Now I have added an object. Okay. Now few operations that we can do on this object is while working, you might want to create a copy of the object. So First of the simplest way is to create a copy of the object which you can see right click copy object control C control V. Now in this case what happens is if I select this particular object say control C control V it is placed directly inside that and the new object is active if you notice here a right, new object is added. So with the new object selected we will need to move this once we discuss about move and all that time you will understand but I'll just move it like this fine so this is a copy now there is another option of making a copy of the object as well as you will notice duplicate object and duplicate link fine so we will see what is the difference first thing is when you create a copy a complete new independent object is created fine that means they look similar but Everything that you will do on them onwards, their color, texture, material, so many other things are associated with an object, which we will see in upcoming sessions. 
that time you will realize the difference but now these are two independent objects that means their colors materials textures everything that they have will be their own so let me demonstrate that to you first of all let me for this purpose what i will do is i will just add some color to this monkey right and i will show you the monkey in the rendered mode let me get this light on his face fine don't worry you will be learning all these things but for this understanding i'm just using this mode fine now with this monkey selected if i create a copy of this control c control v and i will move this monkey aside what you will notice is this monkey if we open this it uses something called as a material 002 and this has a material 003 though i copied it so if we change the color of one monkey it does not affect because it's its own material or color you can say for the time being fine this is a copy fine so zen 3 is cop uh, so zen 1 let's call this as suzen original fine now this is also one interesting thing that you should keep in practice is that naming your objects otherwise your objects will be named 001 002 and it becomes difficult later on to track them so this is a copy okay this is a copy of our object in fact we should rename materials and everything properly anyways now let us have a look at what is a duplication okay so let us duplicate this to duplicate you can use the shortcut or you can come here and say duplicate object so shortcut is shift d and when you will duplicate unlike copy the new object that gets created is ready for movement that means you duplicate and you can move your mouse in the copy case we had to move the object by going into the move so here i will do shift d and you will notice the object is created now let us call this guy duplicate duplicate fine now here you will notice this duplicate fine is sharing the same material with Suzanne that means if we change this material over here these both of them will get affected few other things are also shared in this duplicate mode but for the time being just try to understand they are sharing one of these concept is they are sharing the same material now there is a third thing in the third thing everything is duplicated here when you simply say duplicate few internal aspects are not uh, associated in these two objects now if i make a duplicate link almost everything or we can say everything will be linked to these people now let us say alt d and it follows the same procedure here now when you do alt d this last one duplicated link thing which we have created fine linked i will call it fine it uses the same material just like other one so what else is there that i will demonstrate if i take this original one there is a edit mode now if i scale this object in when i'm editing when we will go into detailed mesh work and all these objects will be affected so you might ask what is the use in uh, the case of duplication fine let us say you want the material of all the objects same but you don't want all the objects to look similar you might be modifying the other objects when you say you are doing a duplicate link at that time what you would want is that you only work on the original object and leave all the other objects like that so whenever you do any changes modify the object in edit mode everything will be affected to all the other objects fine except for like if you rotate the object and all those things will not happen when we are in object mode those things will not apply but main editing effects will take place with the object or anything that you do in the edit mode will have same effect on the object so 
you can say one of the possibilities over here is duplicate link test that you create duplicated object place them somewhere in your scene and just work on one of the original objects so that all of them follow whatever is happening to this particular object fine so that is the basics about uh, what is the 3d cursor how you can add an object how you can duplicate an object and how you can create a linked object. Though immediately we will not be requiring the duplicate and link, but later on we will be utilizing somewhere in our course. Fine. So in most of the cases, we'll just work with copies. And that is it in this video. We'll continue further in the next video.